All right, I don't have a huge amount to say in R about multiple testing, uh, but let's do a couple things just because. Um, so one package that you're gonna need for today and for this week's homework is Agricole, uh, but then otherwise I think we're using our standard packages. I don't know that I actually am using the Mosaic package in this lab, um, but we'll see if we end up needing it. So this is, um, again, that multiple comparisons problem where uh, we could end up having an inflated family-wise error rate. So if we wanted to, we could just do no correction, and then we're going to make a, a lot of mistakes. Um, we could do a Bonferroni correction. We can do Fisher's LSD or Tukey's HSD. So um, these uh, all have the same kind of form where we're using some critical value and we've got the uh, mean squared error as our part of our estimate of the standard error. And that critical value is going to depend on our you know, alpha level and our degrees of freedom. So there's this data set, cancer survival. Let's control enter here and go look at it. So this is um, a data set where I have how long the person survived, I think in days. Yeah, so I think these are um, terminal cancer patients. So we're looking to see how long they survived in days. And then we have the organ that was affected by their cancer. So pretty morbid data set, I apologize for that. Um, and so we're interested in the difference in survival uh, time based on the organ that was affected. So if I wanted to, I could do cancer survival and then group by organ and then skim survival. Ah, I didn't include the skimmer package. Uh, let me put that in here. Library skimmer, control enter. And then we should be able to skim this. make it even wider. All right, so I can see the mean survival time for each of these groups um, and, and also the standard deviations. If I wanted to, I could have just done cancer survival and then group by organ and then summarize mean of survival and SD of survival. Those are the two statistics that we really specifically need. Um, it looks like those means are different. Like it looks like people with breast cancer on average are surviving longer. Uh, and maybe people with bronchus, cancer in the bronchus are surviving less time. Um, but we also might be interested in the standard deviation. So some of these like breast has a really large standard deviation. So the box plot would help us see the distribution a little better. So we can do a box plot of uh, the organ and the survival time and look at these boxes. So to me, it still looks like breast cancer is pretty different. That box is not overlapping much with these other boxes. Um, and so we might want to see, you know, is there a difference between these groups? Um, and really, we should start by doing an ANOVA. Uh, so we should do AOV and do survival tilde organ data is equal to cancer survival. And look at the summary of the A1. So it looks like it's significant. At least one of those alpha uh, group effects is different than zero. But if we wanted to just do all of those uh, pairwise t-tests, we could do it without doing any adjustment. So this would be a bad approach, um, but I could do pairwise t-tests of survival and organ and use the p-adjust method, none. So if I control enter here, now I'm gonna get the p-values comparing breast to bronchus. Okay, that's really small, that's basically zero. Colon to breast, also small. Uh, ovary and breast cancer, not statistically significant. Stomach and breast, yes. Bronchus and colon, no. Ovary and bronchus, it's, it's not super significant, but it is past 0 0.05. Stomach and bronchus, no. Colon and ovary, no. Stomach and colon, no. And then uh, not quite with ovary and stomach. 
we've got one, two, three, four that look significant if we don't do any uh, adjustment. Um, and so this would be a bad approach. We're probably making a mistake here um, because we're upping our family-wise error rate. So we might want to use the Bonferroni uh, correction. Um, so we could do the same thing um, with cancer survival. We'll do the pairwise t-test of survival and organ, but this time I'm gonna do the p adjust method and it'll be Bonferroni. So if I can control enter here, now I get adjusted p-values. Again, I'm not totally sure what's going on behind the scenes here, um, but we're, we're getting p-values that we can compare to that alpha equals 0 0.05. So this one looks significant, but not nearly as significant as before. So one, two, three that look significant, and then quite a few that don't look significant. Um, so that's being a little bit more conservative than just using uh, no correction uh, by, by dividing by those things. We also have Fisher's LSD, uh, which again, um, you, you have to have computed your ANOVA model already. I, I think I already uh, did that. Um, and I've got my model.tables. So I can see uh, the, the comparison to the grand mean, breast, longer survival, bronchus, less survival, colon, less survival, et cetera. Um, uh, the LSD, you can only do it after you've uh, gotten a statistically significant p-value in your ANOVA table. Um, and, and then maybe we can do something more aggressive here. Um, and so for this one, we're going to do LSD.test, LSD and then A1, the name of our model, and then Oregon, the name of our, um, our categorical variable. And weirdly, if you just do this, it doesn't give you anything. So you need to wrap print around the whole thing to get it to print out. Uh, and then it gives you the output in a different way than um, we've gotten uh, before. So this isn't the same as what we saw with the Bonferroni correction. So we get some stuff about like the statistics, the parameters, the means. I usually focus on the groups down here. And what this says is if, uh, if one of these categories has a letter, then it is not statistically significant from other categories that have that same letter. So breast is not significantly different than ovary because they both have A on here but breast is significantly different than colon because colon does not have an A. Breast is significantly different than stomach. It's also significantly different than bronchus. Um, then all these in the middle that have Bs, they're not statistically significantly different from one another. Um, these three have Cs, so they're not statistically significantly different from one another. So um, let me write out some of the statistically significant differences. Okay, we've got breast, colon, breast, stomach, breast, bronchus, and ovary, bronchus. Those are the ones that have statistically significant differences. Um, and then the last way to do these sort of comparisons is with Tukey's HSD. I think I've said this is my favorite because I like uh, John Tukey, um, and it's pretty straightforward to do in R. I feel like um, this is sort of like doing summary or model.tables. We just do Tukey HSD of our model object, and then we get some output. Uh, and I think I showed you this in the, uh, the lecture video as well. So this one, again, has an adjusted p-value, um, and we can see that bronchus breast looks significant, colon breast looks significant, stomach breast, and then I think the rest of them are not. So um, Tukey's HSD is more conservative than Fisher's LSD, but it's less conservative than the Bonferroni correction. So um, that's always the case. The Bonferroni is the most conservative, and then we've got Tukey's HSD, and then Fisher's LSD is the least conservative. So Tukey's HSD, again, it's nice because it's kind of splitting the difference there. All right, so now I think you should have enough code to do the homework for this week, um, and as always, ask me any questions you have.